before your next upgrade? What if I told you that you needed clean power? Because my friend, without clean power, you are only getting a small taste of what your music can sound like. When the voltage drops, the equipment no longer performs how it's meant to perform. It's the same thing even with a processor, a CPU, a microchip that performs calculations. Now a voltage drop can be caused by a wide variety of things. Noise in your electrical lines, distortion, electromagnetic radiation, physical vibrations. All of those things can cause the voltage to fluctuate. I went to see three of my audio buddies and I used this in their system. Now we did two tests. We first started by plugging only their DACs into this, and then we plugged the rest of their systems in. So their preamp and their amplifiers and whatever other components was there. I knew there would be an improvement with what I did. I wanted to film your reaction. What I wasn't expecting was my reaction. So the first one at Carl's place. See my face? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. That was a shock. Now at Phillips, I had a little bit of an idea what was gonna happen. I know his system very well. But I also didn't want to influence his reaction, so I'm trying to keep a, co a poker face here. <laughs> and it was hard. At Dom's, the thing is at Dom's, his system is so good. It's such perfection and execution that I, I was in awe. I, I was just, I was, I was giggling inside. Again, trying to keep a poker face, not to influence him. It is better. I, I didn't want to say it. I heard a difference instantly. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is my this is, my brain is just trying to like, okay, what's going on? Like. Now the problem is you're gonna make me spend the money. For <laughs> Difference. I know what I'm here. I know what I'm here. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow. Oh, her voice is so much better. Oh, yeah. This, this is the. Wow. Oh, right away with the voice. You know what it is, man? It's, it's, there's less noise. There's less. This is the room. The piano is the room. Oh, my God. You notice the first thing I notice as well. Yeah. The concept, the concept of a dark background, yeah, yeah, exactly. it's like the background's gone, Dude. gone. Like, and you know, when I got my Prima Luna, the Evo 100, yeah. we noticed that, right? Yeah. But this just brought it up like... Another level. Yeah. The only thing that's plugged into the power bar right now in the know, Pure 10 is that. that. But that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> but it makes sense because... Actually, oh my well, god, the, that just sounded amazing. Wow, well, yeah, the, 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 the oh, note there. That decay, it was just stellar. 
To me, the big difference is again based on that one. It's very defined, very solid. Uh, yeah, it makes a huge difference on that side. Uh, the rest of it is there's, there's an improvement on on the, the upper range as well. But on 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 my system so far, it seems to be uh, there was a slight boominess on my base, and it's gone completely gone. <laughs> Yo. How much was that thing? Almost 3,000. So now the big question is, if I'm seeing a difference like this, right? And I'm plugged in, I don't have a dedicated circuit like you. The question comes, is it worth having a dedicated circuit with this thing? Can I tell you? You would say yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, like if, if this, this, yeah. Fuck. All you need is that. What the fuck, man? And I, and I can't believe that this is just a DAC. Yeah, it is totally insane. Okay. All right, let's plug your amp and preamp in. Yeah. Let's see if there's another step up. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because I almost know what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so. So it's, 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 uh, there's a difference, but it's not as big as the difference between having nothing and on the deck. Like, uh, like it tells me that it's the signal, it's the conversion from the digital to the analog. It's that portion that has to be very clean, I think, for the rest of the system. Because if you think about it, that signal traverses everything else and I don't know, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. So the recording we just heard, the same song. Uh, I think there's a bit more micro detail, I find, but it's not as impactful as, as, it, was when as the DAC. it was with the DAC. The DAC was like- Nine uh, day. Nine and day. Yeah. Um, with, the, with the preamp, it did a, a tiny bit of changes. I would say more on the micro detail side, um, like maybe uh, on the quietness as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not as, as impactful as, as the DAC. The DAC was just incredible. actually it's interesting, right? So right now it everything's on. It's paused. Yeah. Your dimmers are are, are on. I don't hear anything. No, it's dead quiet. Really dead quiet. Like it's good. It made a difference, but but like but the difference it, could, the difference it makes with the DAC yeah is mon yeah, monstrous. Yeah. 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 It's just a little bit better with everything on, right? Yeah. But uh, it's interesting, I, you know. You know what? It goes back to kind of like what you were saying, and I think Thomas and all that. It's the DAC. The DAC is. It's, it's the DAC is important. The DAC is crucial. Yeah, yeah. crucial. Including power delivery and, and mm -hmm. the cleanness of the power, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, but but it's better. It's it's, but, it's better. It's better to have everything than. But we don't we don't have enough I don't we don't have enough understanding to say that your deduction just now yeah. is a hundred percent of the story, not necessarily. But the theory is very interesting. Sign me up, man, I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> That's Thanks guys. Okay, ciao. ciao. <laughs> no, honestly. I was skeptical at first, and it took me about two seconds to to to, to hear a difference. Uh, the background noise got reduced, uh, more details, you know, more decay in the in the notes and all that stuff. I was impressed, man. I wasn't expecting that, and and just with the DAC, it's amazing. Like if this thing had one plug, I would still buy it. I would just put the DAC on it. Uh, it did make a difference when we put all the rest. The DAC for sure, man. Wow. Uh, I was skeptical, dude. <laughs> to tell you the truth, so was I. You know? It's been years that I've been looking at all the conditioners. I've, ex I've, I've experienced like um, other power bar conditioners in the $1,000 to $1,500 range that I borrowed from, from a friend. And every time I returned it, and I was like, maybe? Use it, use, use it for a week. 
And I'll come and take it out of your system in a week from now. Yeah, I'm going to order one. And then you're going to order one and create another three thousand dollar gap in your wallet. You're laughing, but uh, you, you're, I'm considering it. I'm, I just screwed you up again, eh? Oh yeah. Oh, you really did. See the change, Loic. I swear to, and I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, the change was. This is just a big difference. Yeah. But I think a lot of audio files make the same mistake. You you want to believe it, but it's not. It's not an upgrade that until you hear it, that is attractive. You think, ah, what kind of difference is it really going to make? I'd rather spend the money on upgrading my speakers, on upgrading my source, or maybe I'll buy better tubes, or I'll sell my preamp and buy a better preamp. You have no idea what your gear sounds like until you have clean power. And That's agree. what I'm realizing. It's, it's, it's amazing. Seriously, I never thought that it would make such a change because I, like I said, I, I, I've tried some stuff before and that's why I came back to just a El Cheapo power supply, like a power bar, because I, it made no difference that I use a, I use an El Cheapo power bar than the expensive one. Mm -hmm. But I realized this is, this is uh, on a different planet. This, this is crazy. crazy. This is night and day. Eyes closed, like yeah, yeah. blindfolded. Yeah, I think I could. Instant. Yeah, yeah. A B testing, I yeah, yeah. Could, I could figure it out. Yeah. For sure. But you bring a good point. I was I was wondering when I was listening to it, you know, like this is a three thousand dollar power conditioner. Would we get the same experience with like a thousand dollar power conditioner? And you kind of answered that question. Yeah, well the ones that I tried. I mean there's a lot on the market. Yeah. If they made a one plug version of this power conditioner, maybe it'd be exponentially cheaper. Maybe it would be under a thousand dollars. And honestly, if they did, just for the source alone, in this case the DAC, wow. Yeah. Wow. So what's awesome about this is that in all systems that I've tested it, I have the same opinion. When the the power is clean on the DAC, that's the first biggest jump in performance. So let's say, so if the increase, I'm not saying, so what I'm about to say, I'm going to use percentages, but the, um, these percentages are not representative to the increase in overall performance, okay? So what I mean by that is, in the jump that we experienced, that jump, I think 60 to 80% of that jump, we felt it just with the DAC being plugged into it. That would, yeah, maybe even up to 90%. It was, it was, yeah. 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 There you have it. Is it snake oil? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I have a bunch of electronics tests that I have to do now with this. I need to see for myself what clean power means for all electronics, not just hi-fi. I need to see it. I need to experience it because this was an eye opener. Thanks for watching.